Hi, my name is Jennifer Evans. I'm the ELA consultant at St. Clair County RESA, and we are starting a new project called Guided Reading by the Month, where we will have kindergarten through fifth grade teachers videotape a guided reading lesson as they progress through the school year so that you will be able, to be able to see what the teachers do in the beginning of the year and how they set up the routines and procedures all the way through what's taking place as students learn the work that they are applying in guided reading into their independent practice. So we hope you enjoy this episode of Guided Reading by the Month. books that are just right for us because yesterday we kind of looked at our classroom library right and there's a ton of books and not all of them are perfect for you so I'm going to read this book called Goldilocks in the three years what do you think this book is kind of based on kind of a copy of another book yeah thank you for raising your hand the three bears so I'm going to read this and then I'm going to tell you what this has to do with choosing the right book when I'm reading this it's kind of like a book and a comic combined because you'll notice there's a whole bunch of captions. I'm not going to read all the captions and I'm not going to read the whole book. But if you're interested in reading the book after I'm finished with it, I'll put it up on the board and you can grab it if you want. The captions are kind of funny. There's like mice talking to them and there's almost like a little side story to go with it. So if you'd like to read it after I've read my part, you're free to do that. Ready ladies? Okay. Once upon a time there were three hares that lived in a cozy hole in the woods. There was a great big papa hare, a medium-sized mama hare, and a teeny tiny baby hare. They each had a bowl for their oatmeal. The papa hare had a great big bowl, the mama hare had a medium-sized bowl, and the baby hare had a teeny tiny bowl. In these captions, it describes that the oatmeal then got burnt. So, the three hares decided to eat out for breakfast. Goldilocks and the three years have to do with choosing a just right book. There's a rule called the Goldilocks rule, and it kind of goes along with the five finger rule, okay? There are books that are just right for you, but they might not be just right for someone else. If we're looking at this poster, the Goldilocks rule asks, is this book too hard, is it too easy, or is it just right? What kind of books are we trying to find? Just right books for you. So here's a five finger rule. It's pretty simple and easy to remember. You're going to hold your fist up. As you try to read a book, you're going to put a finger up each time you find a word that you don't know. We're going to revise this last rule a little bit because it says if you get to five fingers before you are done with the book, it is too hard. Do you think I'm going to ask you to read an entire chapter book and only not know five words? Probably not. So we're going to revise it a little bit. Instead of saying when you are done with the book, we're going to say when you're done with the page. Okay? So if I'm looking at a book, maybe a chapter book like this book, Wonder, which is an amazing book, by the way. I started reading it all the summer. Do you think when I'm looking in here, I'm just flipping through the pages, this book would be a great page to read through silently. It doesn't matter which page you read. You can look to the middle of the book, beginning the end. You choose any full page. If you get to five fingers for words that you have trouble sounding out or figuring out or you just don't know what they mean, that book's going to be too hard. Is it very fun to read books that are way too hard for you? It's not fun at all, okay? But one word of caution, what if I turn to this page, page 42, would this be a good page to choose to do the five finger rule? No. Why not? I see you shaking your head. Because it's half of a page. Because it's half of a page. Just make sure you're choosing a full page. Any full page will be fine, okay? Who can kind of summarize for me what the five finger rule is? What are you gonna do when you go to the bookshelf, you find this book, you look at the cover, you might look at the back, it looks super, super good. You're wondering if it's just right for you though because you're interested but you don't know if it's appropriate for you. What are you gonna do then? Yes, ma'am. When, you, when you're reading it, if you get one, one a word wrong, you put up a finger and then if you get five, you just put it up. Yeah, if you get to five fingers, it's going to be too hard for you, probably. And we don't want you to be frustrated when you're reading, okay? So, and I want to clarify one thing. If it's five fingers, um, each word you don't know, that also includes words that you really have to figure out and work really hard to do that. If you think you might have figured it out, but you're not really sure, that still counts. Put up a finger. I'm really glad you're being persistent and working to figure that word out. 
but that still wasn't an easy word for you, so still put a finger up for that word, even if you think you figured it out, but if it was hard to do. Does that make sense? Questions about that rule? Okay, this is going to be super important because we're going to read a lot in here and we have a lot of choices for things to read. Do you all remember which shelves you can go to? Yes. To choose books. Who's willing to show me what shelves you can go to to choose books? Kiera. Um, the shelf right there. What, you want to get up and show us? Just remind us really quick. The shelf right here, these books. The shelves. the shelves right here, those books, and the shelves right there, and the books on the table. Yes, and any of those books. And what about the shelf here? Are you allowed to go there? No. Yeah. Yes. yes, you are allowed to go there and in that red box. So remember, these books are off limits, and then that corner was kind of the teacher corner, right? So we don't pull books from there, but anything else is fine. Who else remember what I also said is really, really important for keeping our classroom library organized? What am I looking for when you're done with the book and you put it back? Jasmine? Um, you're looking for um, like not putting them in backwards, making sure the words are facing us. Making sure the words are facing you, not just throwing them on the shelf. Um, our chapter books, um, you can just stick them on the shelf about where you find them would be fine. And remember, in these red boxes, are these books that I bought? No, those are books the school bought. And remember, those have stickers on them, so they have to go in the red box. Because remember, if I change classrooms, I don't want to accidentally take something that's not mine. Okay? And then, of course, you have boxes back there. Remember, a lot of those have stickers on the back of them, so they can remind you what box they went into. If you know that you're interested in, for example, biographies, there's a biography box. Um, I don't think we talked about this yesterday, but there's a whole bunch of car magazines here and some science magazines, so if you love magazines, that would be a good spot to look to, okay? All right, so what we're going to do today before we go to art, all of you are going to have an opportunity to choose two Just Right books. They can be two chapter books, they can be two picture books or they can be a combination of the two, okay? So your job is going to be to find two just right books and I'm going to be there to help you. Not all of us are going to be able to go to the bookshelves at one time, so I have two things for you to do while you're waiting your turn. One of them is a reading interest inventory. It tells me if you like to read, it tells me what you like to read, gives me a little bit more information about you as a reader. That's the first thing you're going to do. The second thing you're going to do, I'm gonna give you an index card. You can decorate this after you get your reading inventory done, this is the second thing you do, you can decorate this for a bookmark because you're going to need one starting today. We're going to have time to read. Questions about either of those things? Would you pass one of those out to everyone for me? You can pass it up to the leader and they'll distribute it. You have to spread out a little bit so you're... Um, so that you're not all in one area. Yes. What Oh, those aren't in here, but you're looking for what they would be? Um, I hope you enjoy this episode of Guided Reading by the Month. We'll see you next time.